So with more buyers than ever these days looking for homes online, it's really important to wonder, does my home look good on camera? So today we're giving you three quick tips to improve your home's screen appeal. Hey everyone, it's Shelly from the Shelly Killinger Group at Remax CSI. So with COVID unfortunately still hanging around, more buyers than ever are starting their home search online. And quite frankly, their first impression of your home, if you're thinking of selling it, is probably going to be through online photos and video. So we want to make sure that we're asking the question of, does my home even look good on the screen of a mobile device? or on a laptop. And if you're thinking of selling your home anytime in the near future, you will definitely want to look into it. So today we're giving you three quick tips to improve your home's screen appeal. Tip number one is good lighting. Nothing is a better friend to you when you're taking professional video and professional photography than good lighting, in particular, natural lighting. So in order to prepare for your photo shoot and to make your home look better on screen, you want to open up your blinds, make sure your curtains are open, no heavy drapes in front of the windows. You wanna flood your home with natural light. If, you're, if you have a naturally dark room that doesn't have a whole lot of natural light, don't be afraid to add a stylish table table lamp or a stylish floor lamp just to brighten up a dark corner. But natural light is your best friend when you're trying to make your home look good, good quite frankly, on or off camera. Even in person, natural light is going to be your best friend. So tip number one is natural lighting. Tip number two is neutralize. Neutralize really bold paint colors and neutralize patterns. I know whenever I say this to people, oftentimes they think, well, I don't want my house to be boring. And it's not that we want a house that is completely devoid of any personality whatsoever. We want a house that appeals to the widest range of buyers possible. And we want to make your house appear to be as large as it can be in pictures. Because again, that is your buyer's first impression are the videos and the photos that they see online. So unfortunately, dark paint colors tend to make a house appear smaller. It tends to close in the walls of a room. So you want to make sure that you're choosing light, neutral paint colors. A sage green or a taupe is a good choice. As far as patterns go, wallpaper intends to be very distracting to buyers. So you want to maybe remove very old outdated wallpaper, remove heavy patterns or multiple patterns in a room because we don't want the buyers to be distracted in your photos or your video or even in person when they go to tour in person. So if you can neutralize, that helps a lot. So have someone, maybe your real estate agent, maybe a good friend, walk through your home or do a virtual walkthrough and really assess do I need to remove that orange accent wall? Do I need to take down some of that dated wallpaper? Have them take a look at it, do an assessment, and then make some changes. And then if you really feel that your home is devoid of any personality, maybe add in a couple colorful throw pillows just to add a pop of color. We need to remember that even though this is your home, to a buyer, they see it as a product to be sold. They see it as another house that they're showing, another house that they're touring, and we want it to look like a blank canvas to them. We want them to be able to walk in and say, I can envision myself living here. We don't want them to have to say, oh gosh, but I'd have to change these five things in order to be able to live here. We want it to be a blank canvas for them. So tip number two is to neutralize. Tip number three is all about decluttering and perfecting your furniture arrangement. So decluttering is really important because let's be honest, real estate photos, are really small online. And we don't want your valuable visual square footage being taken up by clutter or by extra unnecessary furniture pieces. Because quite frankly, furniture and clutter do not come with the house. So they tend to not be very interesting to buyers. We want to make sure, and I always go back to this, I teach sellers the 30% rule. You want to pack up 30% of everything before you sell. 30% of everything on a bookshelf, 30% of everything in the closet, 30% of all of the items on your kitchen countertop, 30% gets packed up before you even take the photos, before you even list the property. 
you're moving anyway, so you might as well get a head start. And clutter, unfortunately, does not look good in person, and it definitely does not look good in photos because it's hard in little tiny boxes online to really be able to see the bones of the house and the corners and all of the really cool details of a house if it's covered up by clutter. So that is the first thing. Make sure you declutter. Pack up 30% of everything you own. The next part of that is your furniture placement. And there are a couple things you really wanna focus in on when you're talking about furniture. You want to make sure that your furniture is the right size for your room. You don't want oversized furniture. And you also want to be aware of how many pieces of furniture you have in the room. When the videographer is doing the video walkthrough, they're going to show the actual progression of walking through the home. And if it's really hard to get around, you're going to convey the sense that your home is crowded. Your home is small and you don't want a buyer thinking that on a video. So you definitely want to make sure, and it might actually take you bringing in a home stager or your real estate agent, a third party, someone who hasn't lived there, because this is really hard to see. You get used to having your big furniture and you get used to walking around it. But buyers, when they walk into your home or when they see the video, are not gonna be used to that. And you don't want the house to appear crowded. So definitely have someone come in and take a look at your furniture placement. Remove excess pieces. If you have four end tables in a living room, you probably don't need all four. Remove some of them, store them away. You know, Make sure that if you have an oversized sofa that is actually in a good position and it's not blocking a doorway or anything like that, maybe you swap it out for a smaller sofa that you had in the basement or something like that. But make sure that you don't have oversized pieces of furniture and make sure you don't have too many pieces of furniture. So that was tip number three. And of course it goes without saying that none of this matters at all if you don't have high quality professional photography and high quality professional videography whenever your house goes live on the MLS. You unfortunately are not able these days to take cell phone pictures. Cell phone pictures and cell phone video just will not cut it these days. When this is the first impression buyers are getting of your home, you want to make sure that it's a good one. So definitely invest and make sure your real estate agent is investing in high quality professional photography and professional videography. That way your home is shown in its best light. So. I know this is a lot of information, guys. It was a lot to probably just put right on your lap, but maybe you want to watch this video three or four times just to make sure that you're understanding how to give your home the best screen appeal possible. And maybe you even share it with a friend that's thinking about selling so that they have this information as well. Definitely, if you have any questions about how to get started on this process, give us a call. We're glad to do a contact-free virtual walkthrough and tell you some tips and tricks on how to prepare your specific home for sale and how to make sure that it has the best screen appeal possible. Thank you guys so much for watching along with us today. Don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of our future videos. We do post every Tuesday. Thank you again for watching, and we'll see you next time.